The suspect, suspect is down. Suspect is down. Yes. The final minute of a college student's life. We have the chilling 911 tapes and exclusive video of that deadly shooting on the campus of Spartanburg Methodist College. 7 News reporter Brianna Smith has been following this story since November. Today she drove to Columbia to get documents you'll see only here. Brianna, what have we learned? Well, Tom, through these statements, we are now getting to learn what witnesses saw that night, and we are getting a first look into what happened moments before the shooting that took Delvin Simmons' life. This video, you'll see exclusively on 7 News, captures Delvin Simmons' last moments alive. Can you send me some backup? That's because Simmons and Oliver Chandler were spotted breaking into cars on SMC's campus. A student texted that tip to Officer Justin Yarborough. Later in the security footage, we see an officer searching that car that was broken into with a flashlight, and then a call to 911. This apartment left this campus. I need help. Shots have been fired in Sparrow Park Lot. Those shots came from Officer Tomlinson's gun and went through the front windshield of the car Delvin Simmons was driving. In the statement from a witness, the student saw the car drive towards the officer, heard shots. And then saw the car hit other parked cars at Sparrow Hall. I know, suspect, suspect is down. Suspect is down. Yes. Officers combed through the car that Delvin was driving and found golf clubs, speakers, and plastic gloves, the exact items that Chandler stated they had stolen earlier. And it's these files that led the solicitor to decide Officer Tomlinson was right to fire his gun to protect himself. Delvin Simmons' family has retained an attorney, Mullins McLeod. He tells me that they plan to file a wrongful death lawsuit in this case. So far, there has been no video of the shooting incident itself, but McLeod says they welcome anyone to come forward with more evidence. Brianna Smith, 7 News.